dismissed it. Basically, we went past a forest thing, and I thought it looked a lot like forks, but, um, yeah, we, oh, there's more coming up, there's more. Doesn't this look like forks, guys? I know the camera's really blurry, I apologise. Doors opening. Okay, so I just came home from London, and yes, the first thing I'm going to do, or the first thing I have done, is make some grilled cheese, because I was so hungry. I haven't eaten the whole day, and I've been eating really badly as well, because, you know, Christmas, New Year's, lots of chocolates and biscuits. Um, yeah, so the first thing I did was make some grilled cheese in my griddle pan, and this is it. Okay, so yesterday I was on Blog TV and I mentioned how I watch Man vs Food all the time and um, I love the whole driving, drive throughs and all that stuff and also Outrageous Food. So yeah, now I'm watching Man vs Food and it's my favourite out of the three of them. Um, yeah, I'm kind of tired because it was a long day so I'm just going to watch this and then probably go to bed shortly afterwards. Or go and get some food because usually it makes me hungry. Okay, so I had a nap and then um, I woke up from my nap, so I decided to do some things on the internet. I thought I'd just take you guys through what I kind of what I'm doing now. I was going to say what I do on a daily basis, but I don't do this every day. Um, okay, Public Republic. Sorry, I want these jeans. Um, they're like these super skinny jeans, but they're a really nice maroon colour, and the quality is really good. I saw my um, friend sister wearing it, so I asked her where she got them from, and I'm going to get a pair also. Um, I just found this blog, um, and I found her YouTube channel as well, Just Kiss My Frog. One, I love frogs. Two, I love vintage -y feels to things, and I like her channel. So, her name's Kathy. Um, don't know if you guys know who she is, but I'm just, like, finding out who she is now. So, um, that's that. Loving her channel so far. Was on Twitter. I also want these Chelsea boots from Topshop. Um, looking at some photography stuff and also investing in face oils and yeah listening to pink in the background fun house love this song and i'm about to do my asda shopping that's pretty much it guys hey everyone so i'm just about to go to the shopping center to pick up some stuff yes um we're on our way to the cab so i'm gonna have to go now but um yes that's it we're going shopping to get some supplies and um also I don't know, some, just some stuff, you know. Cool, these are the boxes that I really like to get. They're from Pound Stretcher. I like them in all different sizes. I think I have a kind of bin one. That's probably... I've got... No, I've got... Which ones do I have? <laughs> I have a, um... Basically a medium size -ish one, which has a lid. And then I have, like, one this size as well. That's a bit bigger, maybe, actually. But yeah, these are from Pound Stretcher. And I like them because they're really expensive. And I also like these ones as well. I just keep my makeup in this. Like, I do eyes, lips, and face. So I'd have, like, eyes, eyeshadows. And then I'd have, like, you know, things for lips and face as well. So right now I'm in Costa Coffee. I'm going to get a roasted hazelnut mocha. They've still got the Christmas um, drinks in, which is cool. So I'm going to get one of those before I start shopping because I need the energy. Um, can I have a roasted hazelnut mocha? Some more, please. Thank you. And um, a vanilla cake? Um, lemon, sorry. Lemon cake. Lemon cake. I knew it didn't sound right. I was thinking yellow and it came up vanilla. Roasted hazelnut mocha and a... Mm, I keep saying vanilla, it's not vanilla, it's a lemon cake. Can I just open the This Starbucks makes the worst coffee ever. <laughs> Don't come here, I'm going to go for coffee instead. Cool, my camera's a lot better now. Cool, it was a bit out of focus there and dark before, but I've got, um, I'm gonna buy some face wipes and the super red now. I don't know, rose extract or grape water and vitamin E, that sounds a bit better. But I like, I do like simple. Yeah, let's stick to simple. Oh, I always get distracted by Barry. <laughs> But um, I'm on the hunt for some eyeliner and mascara, so we'll see what I come up with. And I've wanted this scarf for the longest time, but now these two look appealing as well. And then I'm going to Tesco to do some shopping. I feel really bad because I kind of bought a bit more than I should have. <laughs> um, that's why I always have like a shopping list, because I always seem to go outside the thing. And I've done it again and I feel kind of bad. I think I have a problem. I don't shop a lot, so when I do shop, I get carried away. Hiya, so I just got back from Tesco and I wanted to show you guys what I got at the shops. 
Um, this week I'm mainly making baked ziti and French onion soup for dinner slash lunch. So um, I want to show you guys what I got and also let you know that this year one of my resolutions is to go back to being a vegetarian because I started going veggie when I was like 10 years old in primary school and then um, what happened, I basically did that for like, what's that, 10 was that 11 years basically I'm 22 now I did it for 11 years and then I went a bit flexitarian last year so um, I've decided I didn't eat all meat so I ate a few bits and pieces I basically messed up a little bit so I've decided that this year I'm gonna actually go back to being a vegetarian again full-time and stop being a flexitarian and you know eating meat and stuff but however I've already broken my resolution so this is my meat week and um, after that I'm going to go to being a vegetarian so the, one of the things I want to eat is baked ziti, so I'm going to be, sorry, I've got this strand that's obviously longer than the rest and it keeps going in my eye, but um, yeah, so this week that's what I'm going to be making and um, I'm going to show you guys what I got So now. no specific order, um, the thing I've got today, I've got some onions for my French onion soup I'm going to make, um, to go with that I've got some red wine, which is, um, I'll show you guys what it is, I've never had it before, it's Cobillere's, um Produce of France. Um, I'm really bad at pronouncing stuff, so let's not even try that. But, um, selected by Tesco. Ooh, lucky me. And, um, yeah, basically it's red wine from France. I'm going to use that for the French onion soup. Then I got some bay leaves for the French onion soup. Some kind of like original smoky barbecue for heater seasoning for the baked ziti because I like a bit of a smoky taste in my food. Um, the whole time I was a vegetarian, for 10, 11 long years, I basically... Always had a craving for things that were smoked and barbecued, so this is my downfall. Um, I'm gonna add some Italian salami Milano um, and add that to the baked ziti. Um, for that, I've also got the garlic puree, and I'm also going to use that for the French onion soup. We've got two packets, these were a bargain, these were um, 25p for a bag of penne pasta, so I've got two because I'm gonna make a big dish of it and it should last a week or more. Um, and then I have some chicken, st sorry, chicken stock, um, vegetable stock. I have some vegetable stock, some free range eggs. I prefer free range eggs because I feel like, well, one is obviously a lot more friendlier, um, the way they treat the, um, hens and all that stuff. And they just taste a lot lighter and fluffier. I'm not a fan of eggs in general, but I prefer to get free range because the other ones are just like caged eggs are injected with all sorts of things to make them lay eggs quicker and stuff. So it doesn't taste as good. It tastes eggy, if that makes sense. Um, olive oil because you can't cook without it. Um, I got two mugs. These were like 39p each. And I also got these bowls. These aren't from Tesco though. These are from Pound Stretcher. I just really like the black square bowls. Um, some passata two of those from Tesco as well for my like ZT meat sauce um, some basil fresh basil for that as well I didn't actually have any proper serving spoons I had like some plastic ones before and they they don't really last long so I've got a new one of these and um, now I've got a whole bunch of cheese over here oh I'll show you this first I've got some thyme as well for the French onion soup so these are gonna go across the ZT and the French onion soup so, um, for the ziti, I'm going to be using ricotta. I'm going to be using some parmigiana rangana. I'm going to drink it, parmigiana cheese. Um, I'm going to be using some mozzarella as well. 44p, and I've got three of these. And then I've got some, like, 10 mild cheddar cheese slices. Because I didn't really want to get the grated cheese, because I didn't want to have any left over. So I thought this was a better, like, substitute option thing. You know, sometimes you just have to do Tesco value. You just have to. <laughs> Tesco's finest. Um, and then for the French onion soup, I'm going to... I've... Um, sorry, I keep stuttering all my words for some reason. I'm so tired. Um, but I've got some Gouda cheese and i got some Gruyere cheese. And I wanted to get some cheese called Paramino Romano or something, but they didn't have that. Um, but never mind. Um, and then I've got some of these like home baguette rolls so I can kind of make my own croutons like big slices of them so I think that's about it that's all I got oh and I got this big um I'll get it now this big massive like five litre bottle of water because I drink a lot of water and I'm trying to do a bit of a detox for the new year you guys if I keep on making these like weekly vlogs you'll, you'll get to see all of that because I'm gonna be yeah detoxing trying to get healthy and get into shape so 
that's all. I will now show you guys what I got from the other shops. These are all the things I got and look out for some of them in a haul, hopefully coming soon. So I've just tried on the jumper and the skirt and the skirt is definitely going back. It's like really, it's, it fits okay, it's just really see-through and to be honest I haven't got the legs for it so I don't know what I was thinking in the first place buying it. But I'm going to take it back and if I can I'll probably get a better quality one from maybe Matalan or somewhere like that. They do really good like mini black skirts so I'll try and do that. Um, I thought I'd show you the jumper though because I like the jumper. Um, I like that it's in the 14 because it's a bit bigger. Um, buttons down the side, really nice maroonish colour and the quality is really good as well. It's just a simple one and it goes down about hip length. Um, on my head I've got the hat I got from Tesco, I forgot to mention it before. I got this hat, um, it's a nice maroon colour as well and I've got like a maroon colour on my lips as well. But um, I wanted to show you these as well. I got this as a present from my friend. It's by Michael Kors, I don't know if you can see that. And um, it's basically these earmuffs, I'll take them off so you can see. Um, this is the Michael Kors label, which is really cool because I wanted a Michael Kors rose gold watch. But I got this as well from the same friend, this rose gold watch for Christmas. So um, yeah, I got this Michael Kors like earmuff thing. And look at the light padding on it. Really, it's really, cool. really warm. So I really like it and... Yeah, just want to share that to you guys because I'm going to be wearing it a lot because it's so cold here and it's raining so badly so I'm going to need stuff like that.